One, two, three. All right, here she is all packed down. I got my sluice box right there. I got my backpacking tent. Got my little mini shovel stuff right down in there. Got my sleeping bag in there. And then I got some other gear inside the the pack right here like sleeping pads and a water filter and that's pretty much it all right go ahead and get this thing on the scales and see what it weighs 225 all right get this thing on well it doesn't feel too bad <laughs> but i'm sure once you're on the trail hiking for a little while it's a different story but uh it doesn't feel too bad at all so we'll see <laughs> 252. All right, guys, we are at about 27 pounds right now with the pack, the sleeping gear, uh, the water filter, and uh, yeah, that's not bad. 27 pounds for a sluice box, all my digging gear. I guess I didn't step on with the crowbar. There's a chance that I'm going to be using this as a hiking stick. All right, so this is about five pounds. It was 257 when I stepped on holding the crowbar. I looked up the Google specs earlier. I Googled how much weight you're supposed to carry on your backpack. A loaded backpack should not weigh more than 20% of your body weight. If you weigh 150 pounds, your pack should not exceed 30 pounds for backpacking. I'm carrying a little bit under the suggested weight, I believe, right now, so. Heck yeah! And I started my low-carb diet this morning, so I'm gonna be losing some body weight. Hamburger meat with a little bit of ketchup. A very low carb meal. High protein too. Every gold mining season that I go out, I always lose 20, 25 pounds. And then I come back here to Illinois and I always end up putting the weight back on. So I'm looking forward to getting, I'm looking forward to getting back out on the trail and doing the, uh, the gold miners workout. The hiking, the dirt moving, the beautiful nature, the fresh air. I love the mountains. I'm ready to get some. Anyhow, guys, I got my new sluice box in the mail. You guys that have been tuning in for the last couple videos know all about it. I bought a sluice box, and, well, it came in the mail, and, it well, it wasn't in the best shape. So I told the company, and they said, oh, we'll send you a replacement box. Well, the replacement one came in the other day. It came in in worse shape than the first one came in. As you guys can see, it still came with some malfunctions. You guys can see the craters right there. It's actually got a hole in it. Look at that, guys. And that's right up in the second riffle. And not only that. So that is that, guys. I now currently have two black sluice boxes. And so I've got some of this JB Weld plastic bonder stuff. And I'm going to fix the hole in it. And I'm thinking about filling in these craters right here. And then sanding it smooth. So, guys, Illinois is on day eight of quarantine right now. And I'm this whole quarantine deal has got things goofed up a bit here in Illinois. And it's got things... You know, not just goofed up here in Illinois, it's got things goofed up all over the world. So we're all in this together, and I look forward to the world get back spinning again, you know, like it was before all this happened. Yeah, so thank you for tuning in, guys. Soon enough, we'll be back out on the road traveling, but right now, we're just making the best of a bad situation here in Illinois. <laughs>